time to do it with Hewitt. I'm just working on my Halloween costume, and I'm, uh, I'm going to be making uh, the Man in the Box illusion costume. Now, I'm referring to some YouTube videos on how to do this. Uh, I've never made it before, and most of the YouTube videos I've seen basically show it when it's already assembled and sort of take it apart and describe how they made it. What I want to do is make it from scratch and uh, follow along with the process for you so you can see exactly how it's made. start off with uh, showing you all the materials that I've got and uh, we'll go from there. I think it's worth trying to pick up one of these styrofoam heads if you can. Um, I got this at uh, Dollarama I believe so for a couple of bucks uh, they had a big box of these heads and it makes it a lot easier and same thing at the dollar store Dollarama I was able to pick up a pretty uh, basic mask. You can use something scary if you want. I wanted to kind of make it look somewhat like a real person. I've got a pair of uh, cheap shades from Goodwill just to cover up the white eyes. And that's basically the head. How's it going, eh? So I picked up an old hoodie. Now it's better if it's a hoodie so that you can cover up the back of the head. So when you assemble it, you can't see the back of the mask. Now we need to create some sort of base for this. So a lot of people have been using coat hangers, that's what I'm going to be doing too. So I got a plastic one that uh, has a little bit more stability and a little more body to it that I can sort of use for the shoulders. And I'm sticking that right up into the base of the styrofoam head. So it gives it sort of a starting point to work with. And then that's going to, this is going to go sort of over top of this. But what I want to do is duct tape the heck out of the styrofoam head onto the, the clothes hanger and really create a nice stable base of support for that. And then what I got for the body of that, and now a lot of the other videos were using basically some uh, flexible wire mesh that they were sort of winding in around the clothes hanger and securing onto the back of the box. I happen to have an old uh, set of wire shelves, I think Ikea or something, uh, that sort of does the job of that. But if you, you don't have something like this, you can just pick up some, some odds, odd wires kicking around. And what I'm going to do is basically secure that to that clothes hanger and use that as my body, as the base, and then uh, pack a lot of uh, padding around there, duct tape the heck out of this again, secure it. I recommend you pick up a bunch of twist ties. Uh, an old pair of shoes for the fake legs. I like these old uh, chucks because it's canvas. It's going to be easy to safety pin onto the legs. Uh, an old pair of pants or jeans. I'm using track pants um, so that uh, you can create the fake legs hanging out of the box. A bunch of duct tape and uh, some glue. I'm not sure if I'll use the glue, but just in case. For padding and packing, I got a crap load of these plastic bags. Now from all from the grocery shopping we've done over the years and whenever we buy something we always save the plastic bags to reuse. Bubble wrap. Now bubble wrap is also good for filling out the body so for building some thickness in the arms or uh, to put in your legs. Um, now what I plan on doing is unwrapping the bubble wrap and uh, winding it around a bunch of the bags. Just, I also got a couple of these at uh, the dollar store for a couple bucks these uh, Halloween arms. So I'm going to use that in the hoodie for the actual arms, but it's not necessary. If as long as you just pack up the arms of something to make them look real, and then uh, get a old pair of work gloves, stuff them up as well, uh, that will do the trick too. For the legs, to fill them out, I've seen people just stuff it with these uh, plastic bags, uh, also pool noodles, but uh, I managed to pick up this, um, what is it? Uh, flex pipe for dryers. Uh, now this stuff is pretty cool, that was like seven or eight bucks, it's about eight feet, so that's going to be the legs. I also got uh, some of this nylon strap, I actually had some kicking around. In case I find it hard to hold the, the weight of the box up on me, I may design some sort of harness under my shirt to sort of keep it up, but we'll see how it goes.
got the base done. I basically wrapped some bubble wrap and duct tape around a bunch of uh, plastic bags and a couple of coat hangers onto this wire mesh here to uh, support the, the head. Um, and I got a little bit of bubble wrap and bags here to start the base of the shoulders and arms. Now I'm going to attach these uh, fake arms I got on with some twist ties. So I switched up to this. I tried out the smaller one and it just didn't work out with uh, getting myself in there and making it look like the legs are real. So I'm going to be securing this to the torso I made here with uh, zip ties. Alright, so I secured the box to my man. And you can see the zip ties went right through here. And you can see in the back here where the zip ties went through the shirt, through the mesh, and it's attached there. It looks pretty stable. And then I attach the arms. Uh, just use these fake hands, because it looks pretty cool. Uh, I duct taped a couple fingers underneath and zip tied around the wrists. So I got both arms on that way. Looking pretty good. And now I'm going to make the legs. So uh, I got a pair of pants. Now, when I'm in costume, uh, my legs that are going to blend in with his body will be dark colors like he's wearing. And I'm going to wear uh, light colors with light pants so the contrast uh, stands out a little bit. And that's pretty key we found to helping with this illusion. I'm going to put these through the pants to fill out the legs. Alright, so I changed my shirt so it works better with the illusion. And uh, filled out the pants here. So I stuck that pipe into the shoes. Safety pinned it on. Uh, so those will sit inside here. All right, we're just about done. One thing I'd recommend is getting one of these uh, L brackets and uh, put on a belt or something secure. Jeans would work if you're wearing a belt with them. And then you can put one in the front and one in the back, at least in the back for sure. And that helps to secure the box. You don't have to hold it up, uh, depending on how heavy your costume is when you're finished. But uh, I found that it helped to, uh, to stop it from sliding down. I didn't have to keep holding on to it. And once the shirt is over it, you can't really see it. Alright, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you're making this costume yourself and you found some easier ways of doing something, let me know. Post some comments down below. Till next time, have fun.